Hello, this is Lord Og, and welcome to the Raven Legacy of a Master Thief. So, uh, I asked you guys what you thought about me using a guide if I got really stuck. And as I thought, you guys were cool with it. You said, you know, yeah, if you get stuck and you can't seem to find a way out, and you've been blundering around for a while, then yeah, feel free to use a guide. Now, I'm going to tell you when I use one. You know me, I'm, I don't care about all this, oh, you cheated, kind of stuff. You know, if I use a guide, I don't care, I'll tell you. So, uh, yeah, if I need one, I'll use one. I hope not to, but I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely use one if I need one. But I will give it a really, really, really good go without first. And I'll have to be stuck for a good 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe even an hour. Maybe even a day. <laughs> and then I'll use one when I feel I need to. Anyway, let's carry on. So, in the last one, we met Lady Westmacott and uh, Miss I Miller. It's uncomfortable for her when I talk to her in front of Lady Westmacott. She seems to take it as an inappropriate distraction from her work. Although, she's just knitting. Taking up a craft like that is typical of women who were told as little girls that idleness is a sin. Oh, God. <laughs> You're right, I mean, that, 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 that attitude these days. Okay, let's go, uh, let's have a look round. So, we talked to Lady Westmacott and Miss Miller about what they th thought about everything. And now, you've got to really look everywhere because anything could be anywhere. So, we're going to the next uh, part. Oh, a bar. Uh, can we? Oh, what's this? Let's go. Oh, I'll be out of the bar. I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. I doubt it. What's that? Go on, go back. Oh! Some of the bowl. Mm, butterscotch. I've loved scotch. them since I was a child. Well, Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Well, I'll take them anyway. Take mm, some. Maybe if I just suck it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I could not resist that one. That was set up perfectly. <laughs> Oh dear, Who would have okay. thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age and of all the things I had to leave behind? Oh sure, stop holding. That's alive. Let's have a look round. Oh a draw. Perhaps he keeps the compartment keys in there. Oh, I just need to be logged. Hmm. Where could he be? Uh, oh, pencil. The oh. pad on which the steward writes orders. Empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. Uh, take I don't notepad. need the pad, but the pencil might come in handy. Okay. Let's have a look at these things. We'll I go. won't need any just now. It would be rather embarrassing if I met the ground and wasn't able to open my mouth because it's been stuck shut or because I lost some teeth. <laughs> that would be true. Pencil. Stuart's pencil. Probably one of the most travelled pencils in the world. Oh, it's it sharp then. Okay. Oh, these are the scissors. The steward probably uses the scissors on hard to open packages. These days nearly everything is sealed up tight. A colleague recently told me about dry powdered soup in small bags. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Why is it still showing me them? I'll leave the scissors here. If I need them, I know where to find them. Okay. Can I use anything around here? Let me try, uh, come here. What's the scotch? Will it go with anything? No, that won't go with anything. Toothpick. Sorry, I'm just, I just think of a point at things. I might have to pick the drawer with it. <laughs> I don't know, do I? No. Pencil. Just check this. Because I can't see my wallet or thingy going with anything. That's just for me. Sorry, I clicked by mistake. Oh, wait there. What's that? Use the pencil with the scissors. Hmm. When I scratch the pencil oh, with lead with the scissors, I get fine graphite powder. I won't get a Nobel Prize for the idea, but graphite powder will bring out fingerprints at a pinch. Oh. Well, I wasn't exactly thinking of that. When I, uh, when I saw that, I thought it meant it was going to sharpen the... Uh, 
The drawer is locked. And the steward probably has the key. I thought you were going to sharpen the pencil with the scissors. I've done that before. I have sharpened the pencil with a pair of scissors. <laughs> right, come on, get out. Okay, anything else? I'm not going to touch that. Yeah, it just goes back behind the bar. Okay, let's go and talk to this guy over here. Talk to... Gebhardt. Is he the doctor? Ah, uh, Mr... Zellner. Zellner. Yes. Right, right. How can I help you? Anything suspicious? Tell me, did you notice anything suspicious here on the train or in Zurich? You mean, except for the fact that my suitcase was stolen on the platform? Oh, another guy's no. lost something now. Is there any reason to be concerned? Well, he, no. He's lost Just his routine. thingy. So Constable Zellner, please don't think I'm naive. I spotted the inspector from Interpol. Legrand Le didn't I very well, did he? If I recall correctly. Legrand. If you say so. At the train station in Zurich, he put a cash box into the safe and then kept close watch as it was loaded onto the train. Don't tell me that a man at his pay grade routinely tramps across the Alps just to keep an eye on cash boxes. A cash box? Like the ones you'd find in safe deposit boxes? Precisely. And I believe we both have a good idea just what's inside. So, uh... So, lady... No, that, that, that... Countess, Duchess, whatever her name is, with that butler, lost a purse, or had a purse stolen. That guy's been locked out of his compartment, that professor, and he's had his suitcase stolen. Oh, very nice. Cash box. It's gonna have one of them jewels in, eyes of the Sphinx, I do whatever. I indeed have a theory, but what's yours? A ruby was stolen in London. One of the legendary eyes of the Sphinx. The second jewel an emerald is rumored to be in a Swiss bank vault, if I remember correctly. Both jewels were supposed to be exhibited together in Cairo for the first time in 50 years. It does make one wonder. Indeed. So I think it's a trap. I don't think the emerald is on board. I think Legrand is just setting a trap. There's probably just a rock in there or something, and it's not worth anything. But he's open raven. Still tries to take the box in case he thinks it is the emerald, then he'll try and grab Any it. Any news about the robbery in London? Quite something, wasn't it? It must have been professionals. The way they disabled one of the best security systems in the world. Most impressive. People were injured. Well, one cannot execute a robbery of that scale without them. No. Collateral damage. <laughs> it seems nice. like the Raven has finally found a worthy successor. We can look forward to new and spectacular coups. I'm afraid I won't enjoy his exploits this time around if the new Raven is so reckless. That's your prerogative. Yeah, because I think that old Raven's going to come out to, out to retirement, I do, because this new Raven's hurting people, blowing people up and that. And I don't think he's going to like, like that person using his name. Personally. May I borrow your newspaper? You can take the section with the article on the burglary. You're interested in that bit, aren't you? <laughs> you got me out. Here you go. Dankeschön. Okay, so we have a piece of newspaper. There's something you else. See, no conduct no, and nobody well, can find him. Is. I'd like to know that myself. See? I told him to search for my missing suitcase in Zurich. He hasn't got back to me yet. He's probably in cahoots with the thieves and didn't bother getting back on the train. If we don't crack down on vermin like them, the rabble will rule the world one day. <laughs> well, at the moment, we still don't know what really happened. He is not here doing his job. That's bad enough. Okay, one last thing. I missing to please. ask. The Baroness is missing her purse. A Baroness? This train is really full of the creme de la creme. It is. The queen of crime is over there. And now a Baroness as well. Have you seen the purse? Unfortunately, no. Do you know Lady Westmacott? You were talking to her. 
Well, I'm an admirer of her work. Like so many others. I once read in the newspaper that only Shakespeare and the Bible sell more copies than her crime novels. I read that too. She must be filthy rich. As a doctor, I'd have to work a thousand years to earn that kind of money. Auf Wiedersehen. Oh, well, that's life. Goodbye, Constable. It was a pleasant chat, really. Oh, well, some notes. Is that a little... Whoa, what have I pressed? Oh, hello. Look at what? Read the article. Oh, we can read the articles. That's the one. Let's what? see if there's any news. Blah, 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 blah. Eye of the Sphinx. One of two priceless jewels. Extraordinary pure ruby. 2000 BC, etc., etc. Old news. And here, shocking burglary. Professional thieves surprised by museum guard Charles Langley and Constable Robert Oliver of Scotland Yard. Explosion? Not really anything new. One of the two eyes of the Sphinx, a ruby that's nearly 4,000 years old, was stolen from the British Museum. The burglar was surprised, but managed to escape with his loot without being recognized. Yeah, the that's the official mascot. story. But it says nothing about Legrand and the second eye. Okay. Okay. Now we'll leave. Here we go. Okay, where's my notebook? Oh yeah. Sorry, there's just a couple more notes. Let's just have a quick look. Dr. Gemhardt, Eris Winter's great man to Zurich, he's a German doctor. Trying to go finish up his career in Italy, I can't say I found him particularly likeable. He's polite and courteous, but I don't really think his friendliness is genuine. Some things off. Great. Cuspo Robert Oliver. Cuspo Robert Oliver was in the British Museum the night of the robbery. Most curious, he was just a stone's throw from the raven when he stole the first eye, and now he's supposed to be guarding the other one. Hey, it is a bit odd, oh, it's a bit strange, that isn't it? Where he just turned up at museum from nowhere, and, and he knew, didn't he? Said so Raven's coming after that this jewel, and that guard, that um, guard, museum guard, said, "How do you know?" He said, "Don't matter." And now all of a sudden he's here doing this one. Very curious. Okay, so let's uh, go. Oh, go outside. Yeah, let's go outside. This could be fun. Oh, that takes us back. Oh, hello. I'll examine you in a minute. Can I climb the ladder? The ladder leads up to the roof. It will be suicidal to climb up there while the train is at full speed. The wind, <laughs> tunnels. No, I'll stay down here. Okay. Okay, let's deal with that. I strongly suspect that the door is locked. No, it's open. Oh, good. Let's go. Hello? 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 Wow. Don't move a muscle, you feathered fiend. What? I look wrong. Told you it was a trap. Put the gun down, Robert. If I may introduce... Constable Robert Oliver from the Yard. This is the revered Constable Zellner of the Swiss police. Who obviously couldn't control his curiosity. Obviously. Constable Robert Oliver. Hmm. Constable Robert Oliver. Is it possible that I read your name in the newspaper? Ah, could be, sir. Could very well be. Robert was there when the first eye of the Sphinx was stolen. Why were you in the museum? Did you spot something from outside? Well, sir, I noticed that a door was ajar, which was suspicious, and it was my duty to investigate, sir. Scotland Yard gave him a commendation and assigned it to me as a liaison. A great honor, sir. I still say it's weird. I hope you'll acknowledge that I, as a Swiss policeman, can undertake investigations in my own country. Are we still in Switzerland? I could be your eyes on the train, as long as you are here in the freight car. Oh, really? Yes, oh really? Uh, 
Uh, wallet. Baroness von Trebitz told me that she's missing her purse. Baroness, Baroness von Trebitz. Interesting. Indeed, sir. But it does nothing to do with our case. So I shouldn't concern myself with the matter. Ah, uh, why not? It's your job as a policeman. Yeah, it is. We'll solve it. Don't worry. Don't be particularly worry. interested in a lost purse. Not gonna. You want to set a trap for someone? Bother you, Legrand. The Raven's heir. What do you know of this Raven's heir? He tried to blow me up. <laughs> Rob. Well, it failed. We don't know who we're dealing with yet. In any event, the new Raven is a more dangerous man than the old one. How do you know it's a man? It could just as easily be a woman. Or several men. And anyway, how do you know that it's a new Raven? Monsieur? Clever That's the first man. one. Never hurt anyone. Never injured anyone. There is a certain Professor Lucien on the train. He's an archaeologist from London. And what's his story? Well, it seems someone locked him out of his compartment. Locked him out? Well, yes. The door is locked and he's standing outside without a key. Was it locked from inside? It may have been. Hmm. How do I know? Do you think the locked door could be important? Professor Lucien plays an important role in this story. Well then, Constable Zellner. Be my eyes and ears on the train, and see that Professor Lucien gets back into his compartment. Report back to me when you're through. Okay. My pleasure, monsieur. I go attend to the door now. Good. And, Constable Zellner. Yes? Don't bother us, unless you have something new to report. Of course. A thief might get anxious if there's too much activity in the freight car. Exactly. Not twice. Then we'll know that it's you. Understood. Okay. The ground's a bit of a penis, but otherwise, let's carry on. An investigation on behalf of Legrand that takes me one step closer. If I can convince him of my competence, I might even be able to see this case through to the end. Okay. Well, let's have a look, quick look at notes again. I know I usually do this off the uh, camera. Constable Oliver was in the British Museum the night of the robbery, most curious he was. Just, yeah, oh yeah, I read all that. I would say I thought they were updated to it, but they don't seem to. Ah, here we are. Yeah, okay, let's get back in there. Okay, let's do this. Let me look at this box, remember the box. A box with a padlock. I suppose it contains tools for the train's crew, maybe for coupling and uncoupling the cars. Yeah, At any could... rate, it's positioned so that it's easier to reach from the ground than from up here. Well, couldn't I use them tools to open that compartment door? Locked. Bang, bang! Oh, God, oh, Matty. Don't move. Penis. Matt, have you gone mad? I'll shoot. Hey, my pistol! You'll get it back in Venice. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Oh, don't ghost be silly. don't exist. They do too. One just flew past the window. Yes, yes, sure. Now get moving. Oh, man. I'm keeping your pistol. Brah. The box is secured with a padlock. I won't be able to open it without a key. Can't I? I can't shoot it. <laughs> okay. I've got nothing to to help me there, so let's go back in. Hmm. So, oh, wait, has he got anything else to say? Anything I'd new? better let him read his newspaper if I don't have any pressing questions. Okay. I don't think we've got to find his suitcase. So... Oh, I didn't mean to walk behind the bar. Sorry. Oh, oh a constable? Yes, Miss Miller. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, my son didn't make any trouble for you, I hope. Yes, he made it's me poop my pants. He just walked past us, <laughs> silent and seething. 
That's usually a sign that someone's laid down the law. I'm afraid so. He played a trick on me, a rather dangerous one. The lad left me no choice but to take away his wooden pistol as a punishment. I understand. And thank you. Maddie is a very lively child. Sometimes he needs a strong fatherly hand. It's okay. Where is Matt's I'll father? I'll whoop his ass then. Yes. No, no. He's... He's gone. Ah. I understand. Could you, uh, leave Maddie's pistol here, perhaps? So you don't have to bother with it? Of course. I told him he wouldn't get it back until Venice. Very well. Thank you again, Constable. No problem. Lady Westmacott? There are thousands of things I would like to ask her, but nothing would justify neglecting my duties here on the train. Okay, so... So we're looking for a key to get into that box, or at least something to smash the padlock. 